Hey guys, this is Jonathan Henderson with Pressure Washing Marketing Pros. In today's video, I want to go ahead and show you guys the process on how you can recover your missing reviews on your Google Business Profile. Because in the pressure washing industry and across all other industries, whether you're a floral shop, roofing business, pest control business, lawyer, a lot of reviews are going missing and it's because of the spam filter that Google has implemented. So there is actually a new process that Google has implemented to where you can recover your missing reviews now. So I'm going to show you guys that in this video. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to Google, right, Google Business Profile Help. You want to go to Google Business Profile Help, right? And this is the link that you would want to go ahead and see where it says Google Business Profile Help, right? So click that. So once you go to Google Business Profile Help, which you'll see it right here. So you can Google it, Yahoo it, Bing it, whatever it may be. You want to go ahead and go to Google Business Profile Help. Next thing you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to scroll down to the bottom and it's going to say need more help. You're going to say contact us. Once it goes to contact us, you're going to go ahead and select your business. You guys know that we help a lot of businesses, but I'm going to use my trusty friend um, James over at Southern Appearance because we were talking about him missing several reviews, right? Over 50. So what you can go ahead and say in this area, so you'll pick your Google business profile that you use that's missing the reviews right here. Then tell us what we can help, you know, when it says right here, tell us what we can help with. You're going to go ahead and say missing reviews, right? Then you're going to hit next. So it's going to say review missing. And then after that, you're going to go to next step. So after the next step, you don't, there's not, don't click on any of these because it's just going to send you help videos or help articles, help YouTube, whatever it may be, right? You're going to go to next step because we want to get in touch with somebody. So you're going to click email. And this is going to start a ticket. So you're going to say what your name is. You're going to put your email address here. You're going to put your phone number. When it comes to your relationship with the business, if, the, if you're an agency watching this video, you'll put I own or work for an agency. But most of you guys, as you know my audience, you guys are exterior cleaning business owners yourself. So you'll just put I own this business, right? Or I'm an employee of this business, whichever one you want to put. Then you'll put your full business name as seen on Google Search and Google Maps. So put it exactly as it's shown on your Google business profile, exactly like how that is, right? Then you'll go to your business address and you'll put your business address. If you have a service area business and you don't display your address, just put service area business and you can like put your main, you can put like, you know, wherever your main area that you target is, right? But just put service area business. Now your, what is your business profile ID? You would, you know, it's gonna help a lot if you go ahead and you retrieve your business profile ID. So how do you do that? Well, first thing you do is you go to your Google business profile, right? And you can do that by simply Googling your business, going to maps, whatever it may be. But you want to be able to see this. What you're going to do is click these three dots right here. Then you're going to go to business profile settings, right? And then you're going to go to advanced settings and bam, you'll see your business profile ID right there. You would copy that ID and you would put that right here in this field, right? So that's what you guys would go ahead and do. Next step would be, or the next question is, has the profile recently been suspended or disabled? So what ends up happening sometimes is that guys' Google business profile ends up getting suspended. When your business, when your you know, account's suspended, sometimes it's very hard for you to get those reviews that you got while, you know, or that were pending while your business got suspended. So. What you're gonna go ahead and do is if your business was suspended or disabled or recently, and I would say give it like a two week. I wouldn't do this if your business profile was suspended like for you know, more than a month ago, right? You don't need to go ahead and do that. But if it's been less than a month, I would say yes. If not, just put no, right? Next thing you do is does this profile belong to ele elementary, secondary, or high school? Most of you guys watching my video, you're not, you're not a you know elementary school, secondary school, or high school. And the reason why that is is because you're not supposed to be getting reviews in the first place if you're in elementary school, secondary, or high school. Those Google business profiles do not have reviews. And right here, obviously, you would go ahead and you would put how many reviews are missing. Are new reviews being published on your profile? So if you have been getting new reviews that have been published on your profile, then click yes. If not, click no. Also, right here, like I said, you want to fill out as much applicable information as possible. So right here is what's the time frame in which the reviews have gone missing? For example, did they all disappear within the last week? Or have you noticed they were consistently disappearing over a longer period of time? And remember, guys, to be exact, 
be exact. You don't want to just say, oh, it happened, you know, a couple days ago and this. Like, you want to give as much information as possible. The time period and the time frame. You don't want to just say, I've been losing reviews for the past two years. Of course, in the past two years, if one or two hasn't gone through, that's understandable. But if it's consistent, then you want to go ahead and document the time that it was consistently missing in this section right here. Reviewer's name, what you want to go ahead and do is you just want to put their name if it's applicable. So a lot of the time what you're able to do is you'll get an email, right? So I just pulled up one of James's emails that he'll get on his Google business profile. You'll get an email saying, great job, you got a new five-star review, and it will show you the person that you got the review from, right? Or even sometimes on your own profile, you'll go here and you'll go to the review, right? We've all done it. We'll go here, to the, we'll go to the review, and we'll see it on that end, right? We'll see it on our end pop up right here, but then somebody else will click on it and you're like, what the hell, they don't see it, they don't see that new one at all. So that's what you guys would wanna go ahead and do. You'd wanna go ahead, like I said, and make sure that you know you find their full name right here. Because if we go to the newest, as you can see, Jessica Miller. So look, Jessica Miller, all of this. So Jessica had that one, Sabrina Keys, right? There's one we haven't responded to yet. So yeah, we can see all of these right here, which I don't know. I don't see where that one is, but Jessica Miller. But you wanna make just you wanna make sure right here that you have the reviewer's name. So let's just say Jessica's didn't pop up. You would say Jessica Miller, right? And you would yes, you would have to list out all of them, right? If applicable, provide the names of reviewers whose reviews are missing. And you would just say their name. You would just go ahead and you would put it exactly as it is on their profile that matches. So you would put it exactly as it is on the profile that matches. So that's what you guys would want to go ahead and do. Because then you would separate them by comma. So Jessica Miller, you know, I'll just say my name, Jonathan Henderson, and just keep going. And remember, make it exactly as a name that is on that profile and make it a lot easier. Describe your issue. You would just describe that you're missing reviews at that point and then related case IDs, right? You could say whatever the related case ID is. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a trick. So we got all the way right here. So related case IDs just means, do you guys have any other tickets? And you would just copy and paste that ticket number right here. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick too. So what you can do, if you wanna provide even more proof to Google, right, is instead of saying I own this business or I'm an employee of the business, you can say I own or work for an agency that represents this business. And guess what? You can go ahead and pull up an attachment, right? You can go ahead and actually upload an attachment. So that's one thing you guys can go ahead and do. If you just say, I own or work for an agency that, that represents this business at that point, because then you have a field to where you can actually attach whatever it may be, where you could probably send a screenshot or what you can go ahead and do, just compile the screenshot, put them all in a folder or a PDF document I know this is doing the most, but trust me, if you want your reviews back, it's better to give Google as many, you know, as much evidence as possible. So you could go ahead, take a bunch of these screenshots, compile them into a PDF file, upload that singular PDF file here, and go about filling it out the rest of the way that I just explained. But once you fill all that stuff out, you would submit this, and you would end up getting a case ID. Once you get that case ID, it'll send it to the email that you put right here on what is your email address. Once you submit all your information, this is the email address that, um, that you'll go ahead and you'll receive that notification from. And one thing I wanna also say on this, what is your email address? Remember, what is the official email address used to manage your Google business profile? So make sure that there's at least an email, which I'll show you guys right here. Make sure that when you go to business profile settings right here and you go to managers, Make sure that one of these emails, you know what I mean? Make sure that one of those emails matches up with the email that you have right here, right? Make sure that it matches up with one of the emails that you guys have right here. Because as, I, as Google says, what is the official email address used to manage your Google business profile? Just makes things a lot cleaner. Don't use like an email that's not associated with your Google business profile at all. So those are just some tips tricks on some things that you can do when you're filling out this missing review form but if you guys have any questions concerns thoughts or comments like i said i'll link this url below in the description but if you guys have any thoughts comments questions 
go ahead and please leave them below but in the comment section but other than that though i'll see you guys in the next video you guys enjoy the rest of your day